Hey what's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you on how to make my raised tire planters. You may have seen them already on Gardener's World, if you haven't click the link below to check it out. So what you're going to need to build the raised tire planter is one tire, you can find these on any car, just make sure you take one of the tires, you don't need all four. <laughs> Next is a drill, any kind of drill just to drill holes in the tire and then you would need some netting to actually um, hold all the soil up so it doesn't actually fall out the bottom uh, and then you'll need three legs or you can have four legs but with my design I just use three legs so these are poles from an old gazebo next you will need some scissors just to cut the lining so uh, make sure you actually line your tires if you're going to be planting edible plants like herbs or vegetable plants that will just stop the um, chemicals leaking from the tire and like poisoning your plants so yeah make sure you line it but if you're just putting flowers in it you don't need to line it okay the first step is to lay down your tire and put these poles in so you're gonna need to get the drill and drill holes in the top which is gonna be the front and then the other two which are somewhere at the back you can measure it to be accurate but I'm just doing this by eye so I'm definitely gonna drill one there and a one around about there and then probably the same on this side So you're going to need to drill a lot of holes to make the hole big enough for the pole to fit through. So I'm just going to drill some more holes around it and just cut around it to make the hole big enough. Okay, that's one pole done. Just gotta do the same with the other two, and then yeah, that's part one done. So this is what it's meant to look like when you have got all three poles inside the tire. It will take you a long time to do. Drilling through these tires does take a long time, but this is what it's supposed to look like at this stage. So keep watching to see what to do next. Okay, so I have flipped the tire the right way up, and this is what it should look like. All three legs are supporting the tyre above the ground. Don't worry, I know it does look lopsided. It's meant to look like that for now. Next stage is to actually get the netting in here. So I'm going to be using some chicken wire mesh, um, some plastic chicken wire. And the good thing about the plastic chicken wire is that you can actually put the holes through the poles. So that's actually what keeps the mesh in place no nails no attaching it in anywhere else the poles the legs itself hold it up so that's what i'm going to be showing you next so what i'm doing now is actually lowering the poles so i can have um, some room to put the mesh in we want to have a gap in between the poles and the tire for now So as you can see I have made my circle of chicken wire mesh which is going to go inside the tyre so I'm going to show you how to actually pull it inside the tyre now. So you want the bendy side to be up because if it was that way it would be hanging down a lot 
so this will support the weight of all the soil. So I've just hooked on the last circle onto the pole and that is what locks this into place. So what you're going to do, you want to do the same with all three of the poles and that will lock, be locked into place just like this. Okay so the netting is in place. I've just got to put the line in, in but first I'm just going to pull it in the spot that I actually want to keep it in. So yeah you can watch me just try and struggle to pull it into place. <laughs> So I'm just checking if it's level. You can just keep playing around with it how you want it. This leg isn't straight, I don't think. So I'm just gonna move that. But yeah, make sure you don't pull it too low down in the ground because you've still got to make sure you can easily access the plants. So you don't want to be bending down too low. But yeah, if you have a look at my other ones, like this one's quite tall. That's probably my tallest one. And then this one over here. That's like above, above my waist, so that's pretty high. But then this one, this is like, wow, almost like my knees. <laughs> so yeah, it depends on the poles you get. If you can find taller poles, then go for it. But I don't think this is too low down. This is just going to be a herb planter anyway, so I think it'll be all right. Okay, the next step is to line it to make sure all the soil doesn't leak out all of these holes and to protect your plants from the poison of the tyre. Okay so this is my plastic sheeting that I'm going to be using as my liner and you may be thinking why have you like um, laid it down on the ground? Well this is why. I'm going to be stabbing loads of holes to make sure there's loads of drainage holes for the water, the rainwater to escape because if you just put this at the bottom of your tyre then you've made a little pond so I'm just making sure there's loads of holes so the rainwater can seep through this and then seep through the netting so yeah, I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll show you how to pull it in place. Okay, so I have made plenty of holes in this plastic sheet. So right now I'm going to pull it into place. Make sure it actually um, like covers the walls of the tyre because that will stop the chemicals leaking into the soil so yeah that is it that's nicely into place I don't know if you can see but there's loads of holes where I've just stabbed in and don't worry you don't need to like um, attach this to the tyre because all the soil is going to be packed into place so yeah, the soil just will weigh it down. 
So thank you for watching my video. If you followed along with these instructions, you have just made your first raised hive planter. So this one's going to be my herb garden. I'm going to fill it up with soil and then start planting herbs in. So you may be thinking, it looks a bit boring. It's just a tire on some legs, but you can be creative. Paint it. I painted my other one white and the other one an Italian flag. So just let your mind go wild. Just paint it any colors you want. And yeah, happy gardening. Okay, so I've decided to show you um, what the tile will look like when it's full with soil. So I've got some soil here, the tile is there, and I'm just about to fill the bottom with some gravel. That will just allow the um, rainwater to actually go down to this level and not just stick to all the soil. So it's a drainage system. So yeah, I'm just going to put some more stones down and then I'll get to the soil. So here it is, the finished result. This is what the raised tire planter should look like, full of soil. You can actually put some compost on top just to make the nutrients levels higher. But yeah, this is it, complete. All I've got to do now is paint it. So thank you for watching.